Hey, what's up guys? Um, not a lot of you are closely connected with me unless you follow me on other social media, but I just recently turned 25, which means I'm officially in my mid twenties and I feel like I'm an uh, adult. I think I feel this way because I read a long time ago that your brain is fully developed at 25, but also it just feels like that age where you become an adult. I know society deems us adults when we're 18, but in my opinion, there's a ton of growing and maturing that needs to be done from 18 to 19, 19 to 20, 20 to 21, or at least for me, I went through like serious life changes from those ages. A lot of people in that period of their life are going to places like college to discover who they are and you kind of figure out what you're gonna do with the rest of your life but with that being said it's a time where you make a lot of mistakes and there's some mistakes that maybe don't need to be made so i saw some other youtubers make this video and i thought now is a good time for me to make it so in this video i'm gonna go over what i wish i knew at the age of 20. so First thing I wish I knew at 20 is not to expect too much or have unrealistic goals. Now, this is obviously not saying don't dream big, but there are certain life goals or expectations that are unrealistic or almost impossible. For example, if you're naturally a bad singer, but your goal is to become the biggest pop star in the world, well, you're gonna be pretty disappointed when that doesn't happen. That's an unrealistic expectation. Another more relatable example that I think everybody maybe experiences is as you grow up through like middle school and high school, you can kind of just coast through as long as you do your homework and you know study a little bit for tests, you can just coast through middle school and high school. So when you get to college or the real world, you don't expect that it's going to be as difficult as it actually is. You think maybe, oh, maybe I could just coast through college or coast through my job. But no, there's gonna be a point where you have to work. No matter how smart you are, you're going to have to put some effort into developing skills and working to pass you know, college and stuff like that. You can't just coast through life. That's a terrible expectation to have. So I think when I was younger, I did have some unrealistic expectations. And if you have these, you're gonna be pretty disappointed. It's gonna let you down and it just leads to some unhappiness. The next thing I wish I knew is, I guess just financial stuff, like financial information that I was never taught as a child from my parents or from the education system, and I never took the initiative to research it online. And I think it's kind of messed up that the education system doesn't teach us this information because it's pretty valuable, like how to invest and build wealth over time and savings account interest versus inflation rates. If you guys are 20 right now, then you're going to wanna look up investing because if you just keep your money in a savings account versus the current inflation rate, you're going to be losing your money over time. And another thing I wish I understood because I fell victim to it a little bit from watching YouTube videos, and you might be too from TikTok and other content, is that day trading is pretty much gambling. I had a period where I tried day trading because I saw this viral YouTube video about day trading millionaires and I lost thousands of dollars. And speaking of investing, I do want to take the time now to mention the sponsor of this portion of the video, which is Wealthfront. With investing, I have a tough time picking individual stocks and having to constantly check and monitor which companies are doing well. So I invest in ETFs, which is a diversified alternative. It's a collection of stocks. And in this case, if one company performs poorly, we don't lose all of our value. Now the Wealthfront, you take it a step further because Wealthfront will automatically diversify your investments even further with a personalized portfolio based on your risk tolerance and investing strategy of choice. You could pick from a collection of expert built portfolios that are automatically managed for you by Wealthfront. And then from those portfolios, you could select the level of risk you want to take on from investing. If you want to go deeper, you can also customize your portfolio by choosing from over 240 funds offering exposure to everything from clean energy to tech to even crypto. I chose the classic portfolio and my investments have been split up into these categories. And the best part is I could set up automatic weekly transfers into my account so that I don't have to worry about timing the market, which I learned from the book, The Intelligent Investor is the best way to invest. Don't try and time the market, just consistently invest. I highly recommend Wealthfront. Make sure you sign up through my link, wealthfront.com slash Nick White. That's gonna be in the description of this video and you're gonna get 20 bucks just for opening and funding your first taxable investment account. Speaking of expectations, well, you shouldn't expect everything stays the same. And I wanna talk about 
how you need to understand that things can change unexpectedly and quickly. Like at any moment, things can completely change. And I guess mainly this point is like, you don't have full control over your life. Uh, for me, this kind of manifested with, you know, I had the same group of friends in middle school and high school and college. And I kind of, you know, assumed that we'd all be friends and just hang out, you know, forever, grow old in the same city. But what happened in college is people went their own separate ways. You know, people got in relationships, people wanted to do different careers, they wanted to move to different places. And yeah, I haven't seen people in a long time. That's just a basic change that's gonna happen to everybody in life. And you know, I don't really have control over relationships with people. I mean, on my end, you could just be as good of a friend as you could be, but you can't control what other people do, right? That's a normal situation. There's a lot more like dramatic, quick events that could happen that you have no control over happening. So like negative examples, you can get injured or you can get really sick at any moment. Another one is you could be fired from your job unexpectedly you have no control over this you know maybe the company got bad publicity and the stocks prices crash and they have to lay people off for example i mean look at the world right now the economy's not doing too well there have been a lot of layoffs people don't have control over if they get to keep their jobs or not another example you could just be walking down the street and you could be robbed you could lose a bunch of your money but with every negative example there's a positive unexpected change that could happen to your life too you know you could win money you could get a scholarship unexpectedly you could get hired you could get promoted randomly, right? You could get a random promotion or come into a really awesome job. Or maybe you could fall in love. You could meet somebody and you could fall in love. That could change your life completely. So I'm giving you guys this advice because at 20, I thought I kind of had complete control over everything in the world, like everything in my life. I'm gonna control everything, but no, things can totally happen unexpectedly. You have no control over and they could completely change the course of your life. So if I were you, or if I were me at 20, I would try and accept this idea and maybe prepare for unexpected change. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is social behavior. I don't know about you guys, but I went through so many phases growing up, like socially, just so many different types of personalities. I was trying out probably to please other people, but I've realized that that isn't important. And we all hear this a lot, but you really need to digest it. It's to not think about what other people think of you. You know, just focus on being the best version of yourself and worry about what you want out of life. Don't worry about what other people want you to be like. I even had a lot of social anxiety at certain points where you walk into a room and you're just constantly thinking about what other people are thinking about you. But what you need to realize is other people aren't just thinking about you all the time. They're probably worried about themselves. Now there are exceptions, right? There are just toxic people in your life that could just be very you know, toxic towards you or even abusive maybe. So if there are people like that that are consistently negative around you, well, your environment really affects you. So you're gonna want to remove those people from your life. You know, there's a big difference between criticism, which is healthy, and toxicity. And then just on the topic of social behavior, I think there were a couple times growing up where I burned a few bridges and I didn't really think of it as a big deal because, oh, there's 7 billion people. I will probably never see this person again. It wasn't like a very serious thing, but just as I got older, I realized that burning bridges, especially with people that are in the same industry or career path as you is really bad because as you grow in your career and in your industry, there's only, only going to be a certain number of people in that industry and you're going to potentially run into them again. It's actually much smaller of a world than you think, especially in the particular niche your career might be in. And then the very last thing that I wanna to touch on is just a very generic saying that we've all heard before, and that is time flies. And I'm starting to feel this a lot more now. I'm starting to really cherish my time. Um, you know, I'm talking like I'm an old person or something. I'm 25, I guess that's still technically young compared to, you know, actually older people. But it does feel like time is moving faster the older I get, and you only have a certain amount of time uh, and you know, things, like I said earlier, change unexpectedly and you want to, you know, make the most of that time. Time is extremely valuable. Some people will spend their whole lives, you know, working for money. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that don't really have perspective of time and don't prioritize as well as they should. You should really sit down and think to yourself what you find important in life, whether that's family or career. And uh, you should think about the different ages you want to make accomplishments by or what you want to prioritize at each age. 
Uh, you don't actually have to like break this down in any kind of roadmap or whatever, but you should just realize like, you know, time goes pretty quickly and things change very quickly and you don't want to grow old to have regrets. Some people probably prioritize one thing way too much over other things. And um, you know, balance is essential to life. I'm pretty bad at uh, balancing things. I'm sure other people are a lot worse. So consider what you wanna spend this currency we call time doing. And uh, I hope you spend it wisely. So if you guys are my age or older and you have any good advice for people that are 20, please drop it in the comments below or if I missed out on anything important. But I think that's some pretty solid advice because I struggled with a lot of that information. It's a lot of just self-awareness and perspective things that you, I feel like you don't really have at the time because you don't just sit and think about all of that stuff. You're too preoccupied with so many things at that age. But yeah, I guess I am now old and i have to like yeah, be boring and old now okay yeah okay yeah, okay all right well uh thanks for watching talk to you guys later peace